What's going on YouTube? Geosno right here. So in today's quick video I'm going to clarify what's going on with the Torin jailbreak and when we should expect another version of it. As you probably know the Torin jailbreak team announced that they will update the Torin jailbreak to work with the Fugu 14 Untether that has been released a couple of weeks ago so that it would be like Uncover, an Untether jailbreak. However that never happened. Torin right now still supports 14.0 to 14.3 but there is no iOS 14.5, 14.5.1 or 14.4 support added. And of course it's not untethered compared to Uncover which does support those versions and of course it's untethered thanks to the Fugu 14 in here which has been bundled with it. So what is going on? Well we finally have an answer from Coolstar themselves. They said in here today quote stop asking for ATAs about 14.4 and 14.5 untethered stuff. It's very low priority and I'm not currently working on it very much. I've largely lost interest as the untethered dropped way too late to be honest. Also between me having a lot and picking up Windows kernel development again, I've had other things that interest me far more than iOS firmware that I consider long dead. I'll be returning to work on Torin should an exploit drop for 14.7, 14.8.x or just 15. By the way, if you really want Torin semi-untethered that bad on 14.5, you can modify the open source Torin release to initialize from Fugu 14 libkrw. So basically it's not going to be updated anytime soon for 14.5, 14.4 and so on because according to cool Star, the Fugu 14 came actually way too late. Those versions are actually considered old at this point, so it's not worth the pain. But they did say they will update Torin once an exploit for 14.7, 14.6 and so on will be released. And with the security content of iOS 15.2 being packed with patched vulnerabilities, it means that we're not far from that happening in the near future. A kernel exploit will very likely be released in the near future for the versions mentioned by Coolstar and at that point I'm sure the Turin jailbreak will be updated as they mention in here on the official Cilio Discord. By the way, if you're interested in the Turin jailbreak development and stuff like that, you can definitely go ahead and join the server. It's the Cilio Turin Odyssey server here and this is the official one for Cilio, for Turin, for Odyssey, even for Electra and stuff like that. If you're still using that, this is their community ran by Coolstar and it's definitely a great community. I am also part of it so definitely join it if you want to. But yeah, this is basically it with the Torin for 14.4, 14.5 and 14.5.1. That one will not happen. Now Coolstar mentions something about modifying Torin in order to support Fugu 14. Well, theoretically you can do that with enough skill. I could do that but I'm not going to release anything like that because probably Coolstar will not be very happy with a third party release like that. But if you want to do it yourself you can modify Torin to basically be called out by Fugu and loaded at runtime so that you can basically achieve the same thing that Uncover did. Because Uncover didn't really need it very much of hard work in order to get the untether going. 99.9% .9 of the work in the Uncover for the 14.5, 14.5.1 1, and 14.4 untethered is basically Fugu 14. So very minimal stuff had to be changed on Uncover especially since it does use the libkrw by default which means that it was compatible with Fugu 14 out of the box, which Torin unfortunately isn't, but can be modified to work with. So if you really need that untethered Torin to work on 14.5, 14.4 and so on, you can modify it yourself, but there will not be an official release from Coolstar until an iOS 14.7, 14.8 or 15 exploit is out to make it worthwhile. So yeah, that's basically it. Thank you for watching. I am Geosnow. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.